In this short video, I would like to explain about SAP S4 HANA and uh, how it stands with overall solutions which are, which are being offered by SAP. Okay. So first of all, um, you know, all of us know like SaaS based solutions, which we also call cloud based solutions and on premise solutions like that. So let's see how SAP S4 HANA stands uh, in the overall uh, mix. Uh, first and foremost thing is that software is being offered as a service uh, in the most of the application um, ERP solutions. For example, if you think of Workday as a solution which is being offered as a software as a service, uh, which is pretty much it's a ERP for all your uh, HR related uh, uh, business process. And then uh, if you think of CRM, uh, pretty much salesforce.com has become a standard for your CRM solutions which are again offered as a, a service uh, the entire CRM software is offered as a service and then um, products like Intuit which are offering uh, an application development platforms to build your own apps and again uh, success factors from SAP is also one kind of a uh, example which is a software as a service. There are many other products from SAP which are being offered as a, a service. For example, uh, your Conquer expense tool, uh, which is being offered as a service. And also the popular um, Coupa software for uh, procurement process also is a, like offered as a services. And if you go into you know the, to the, the application user uh, consumer based products like uh, Microsoft is offering most of its uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Office suite uh, in, in the cloud as a service. So that is also a, one kind of a software as a service. And then most of these uh, softwares which are being offered as a service are cloud based, uh, meaning you don't need any hardware to uh, any software to download on your uh, computer and uh, all the required hardware for running an application is uh, offered in, in the cloud itself so again uh, whenever you say a cloud either it is a, a public cloud cloud or private cloud or you know some in some cases a hybrid uh, when it comes to like erp applications you, you will have hybrid uh, models also okay and then um, you know like most of the uh, the cloud based solutions are also offering you the business application development platforms and um, you know good example is the salesforce.com like it is offering force.com to develop your own business process applications and just take the platform and use this business process as, a, as an applications and of course you can sell the applications to the in the market uh, this concept has come from uh, if you really think of app stores uh, which is for the consumer your mobile app applications like Google Play for Android applications you know that is the place where originally app development platforms were developed and now it's like a business uh, application development platform also are being offered for example QuickBase is offering its uh, own platform for developing your own business process or business applications so in summary this all this software as a service is a kind of a contemporary technology um, and you know most of the companies are going towards um, like taking a particular business process um, you know part of your SaaS based solution rather than having its own uh, developmental activity okay so in some some substance is like uh, it's uh, all these applications are simple and um, uptime they are promising as SLS 99.99 percentage of the time and then um, first and foremost thing is that these are all are like device independent meaning like they are available you know anywhere uh, whether it is a your you know laptop or your mobile uh, mobile application maybe it's like you know your Apple based products or Google based products so all these software uh, which are offered as a service are available so that is the, the de device independence and like you don't need a local hardware to hold this entire ERP application uh, when you call it as a ERP application for the software as a service 
and then uh, your upfront investment will be a low investment in the overall and then um, most of these applications for example workday salesforce.com or success factors like these are like uh, you get like upgrades very frequently uh, I would say even weekly upgrades are uh, planned for some of the applications and then the new innovations are happening because uh, since it is a since this entire solution is offered as a you know service so the new innovations around uh, that particular software is are happening on a continuous basis and um, so the new revenue models for those who are developing applications on the platform are also um, you know coming up with the new revenue models and then the entire app development platform itself is like you know, offered so that uh, you, know, you use the developmental platform to de deploy develop and deploy your own business process and then uh, most of these you know softwares are offered as a subscription based meaning like you uh, know every user you pay um, the rental kind of subscription every month uh, as long as you use uh, this application and uh, you will keep paying the subscription so so this is all you know the story around uh, software as a service so let's look at like where where does sap stand in this okay so SAP offers entire it's a business suite uh, which is like a, you call traditionally ERP so the entire business suite um, uh, as latest as like you know let's say it's like they call as R3 so when you call as R3 which is pretty much like you know release third generation uh, sometimes people call it as a three tier architecture so the terminology whatever it may be it's like a third generation you know release 3 so they had like release one two and three so in this business suite uh, it, it's you know typically evolved over a period of time and you know these uh, evolved into complex data models obviously and then uh, you know they are being accessed through age-old GUI uh, application which are given by SAP GUI and then uh, most of the time when you deploy this business suite it's like upfront investment you make into um, buying the software as well as installing any you know like configuration and, uh, and deploying the software all that is like upfront investment and then now uh, in a huge hardware architecture you need like in order to have this the software and uh, to support your user base you need a huge ha hardware investment as well and then all these business suite applications are uh, evolved over a period of time in the in the history of like SAP like it evolved for last 40 years so definitely a lot of old business models are built into that is the reason it became complex and then um, when it comes to the upgrades uh, like from one version to another version from one particular support pack to another su su support pack the huge investment is involved for uh, upgrades for example SAP you know like when it introduced new GL uh, for example in um, 2003 or 4 time frame so it's a huge um, you know change for uh, businesses so then you know it, it undergone like a huge complex upgrade process so you know running into millions of dollars of investment uh, as far as upgrades are concerned and then again um, if a particular business uh, model doesn't work then you know you develop your own custom code and then uh, it becomes a maintenance nightmare okay so this is where we stand as far as SAP business suite is concerned and if you clearly see that SAP was losing its business to other software vendors for example uh, CRM it lost to salesforce.com uh, and uh, as far as HR model models are concerned it lost like workday and that is the reason they come up with the success factors to to um, pretty much uh, compete with workday okay so then other um, software vendors like for example Salesforce itself is started giving uh, you know other um, modules like finance modules and procurement modules in the cloud so that is the reason SAP had to move very fast so that is the reason they are into S4 um, 
HANA platform. So now you call it S4. When when you call it S4 HANA, so basically you are offering the business suite in uh, S4. So S4 is also called a simple fourth generation. So you can say simple. Let's see like why it is simple. So the entire HANA platform is offered here to support your uh, new new kind of business models, right? So that is what that is the reason. Like it's like you are providing an app development platform to develop your native applications on HANA. So that is one kind of a big change. Earlier SAP never allowed um, never allowed uh, people to develop their own applications and deploy them and sell to somebody right so that that is changing so sap came up with app development platform to develop your own applications right and then it is offering this entire you know portfolio or the business um, suite on cloud as well as on premise so because still they are not like there to offer everything in the cloud so that is the reason they are in on on premise and cloud so going forward what sap is saying is that you know they will have two versions like everything is available on cloud as well as on premise and then um, access point of view they redesigned the entire um, you know their you know front end um, like in you know, a gui which is like they are you know basing it as a fury applications so fury apps are just like device independent uh, you know models to access so that fury apps uh, came up and then um, all these uh, complex data models uh, they are redesigning to suite uh, to I mean suit like new business models they they are calling as a simple data models one example they are giving is that you know you have many many tables which are developed over a period of time to support your business suite now they are with the new technology which is there in memory technology with sap hana so they are able to offer much more simplified data models to uh, store the data access the data and develop your own business applications and own intelligence put onto these applications and towards the end like you now you are pretty much making entire sap business suite as a saas model which is like uh, we started discussing the software as a service so sap just you know like started giving its entire business suite as a, a subscription based that we are you know, talking about as a software as a service so if you if you think of like you now sap evolved from r2 to in like now r3 and s4 so 1972 um, when it started with r1 and r2 right so and then the release it came like you know 1992 it came r3 so it took like 20 years uh, from one kind of uh, you know offering to become the uh, different kind of offering like you know, r3 which is like 20 years and then after 20 years like almost like in 2015 um, uh, which you can say after 23 years uh, again SAP reinvented itself and uh, they dubbed it as a simple finance like sorry simple uh, everything is simple S4 so the fourth generation they are offering so from R2 to R3 and from R3 to S4 is what the transition that they are making and again they had to prove on the entire new business model and uh, they are almost there um, so SAP HANA has become a database as well to support their application development as well as in-memory technology to offer their business suite in, uh, uh, in, in the cloud as well as on the premise. So uh, on premise. So this is the way that SAP evolved over a period of time to S4. And if you really think of um, you know, overall the structure wise, the latest evolutions wise, um so if you like you know think of like from r3 to s4 the the transition it it became like you know for example entire business suite was offered on the traditional databases then became hana database the business suite is offered as a hana database and then um, they they made they pretty much simplified the business models they call as a simple finance and uh, 
then they, you know they made like logistics process also on simple so now we stand like a version s4 hana uh, support pack 1511 which you know again as we speak it may be changing right so if you really think of uh, from business suite to business suite and hana it's a technical change because the table structures are were changing so on premise uh, still on premise but like and the, the technical changes occurred and from business suite HANA, uh, which is pretty much needed as a HANA database, and from there uh, to simple finance, meaning like all your finance related tables are simplified. So that is the reason it's a process change as well as a technical change. And from there, again, uh, you know, they are going further to make all entire business suite, which is logistics also to become simple. Again, that is evolved over a period of time. So this, this you know evolution of simple finance and now it's s4 hana it's like from the last one year uh, these models are being offered um, and then you know that fury app apps are the um, the the way that you access these applications and these are um, uh, available as in the cloud so again a long way to go for sap uh, they just started uh, as far as the S4 is concerned. It's just, you know, 2015, um, they had a product launch. And um, so they are going towards uh, making S4. Uh, and again, as a two versions, like as I described earlier. So two versions, you know, pretty much like um, in the cloud as well as on the premise. Okay. Hopefully this made you, uh, you know, think about how SAP evolved it's old way of uh, doing things to the new way of uh, doing things okay thank you for watching this video